What's good with y'all? We're gonna be over the biggest things in layer two that's probably gonna happen, like removal of luck and the progression changes, and just everything Archmage has said so far about the stuff that's gonna happen in layer two with luck and the progression system. All right, before we do that, I'm gonna give a big shout out to Cyber FV for that dono, fifty dollar dono. If y'all don't know how to dono, go down in the group in the description. Y'all can buy anything from like 10 to 100 to 1,000. And y'all give y'all a little shout out and I appreciate it. Yeah, getting straight into this video, if y'all don't know, in layer 2, they're going to be changing the level cap from level 60 to level 20. But you're still going to be getting the 5 cards every time. You're going to end up with the same amount of talents. But this is probably set up for a further level cap increase down the road. Because starting at level 60 was a kind of interesting idea. Because it's not like they're going to make it level 120 and shit like that. So I'm lowering it to level 20. will probably give them more wiggle room to... You know improve later on in the other layers because that's probably what their plan is and as of right now the entire game is literally rng based like the monsters you get the talents you get all that just luck based but with layer two they're gonna be getting rid of luck so it's gonna be less rng so no more legendary pity and you should be able to actually make builds that you want to make without getting shafted by the luck system well, it's a great addition. I feel like it may impact some of the replayability because really the only replayability in Deep One right now is just trying to make the best build you can because you don't get enough cards, so you're going to re-wipe and remake that build. But they'll probably do something about luck to make it have some aspect where it's a little bit random because I feel like they're not just going to have a skill tree. It's going to have a little bit of randomness to it where you can't just have the same build every time I feel like. And obviously with layer 2, a bunch of new combat stuff's coming out. So even if you have the same build as you have right now, it probably won't do nothing. Because they got the uppercuts, the parry changes, tempo, they're getting rid of reservoir. And if y'all didn't see it, tempo is basically a reservoir, but it's always on. And you get, the more you fight in a match, the more tempo you get. So every time you're doing like parry trades or just fighting in general, you're going to be able to get more ether off that tempo. But if you like start running away and you're not fighting, your tempo is going to slow down. You're not really going to get any ether back. Another huge change with progression, they're making a depth to the base layer 2 XP. So after layer 2 drops, all your XP is going to be curved to be like you had a depth no matter what. Obviously, this isn't going to show us like one of your legendaries you pulled. It's just going to be a flat xp boost for everybody in the game which i think is an amazing addition because if you don't have a depth that's just gonna take you like three days at least to max out if you're really trying to get level 60 and then if you have simple <laughs> good luck maxing that shit out yeah, that's the main gameplay mechanics that are gonna get changed in layer two and i just want to start this video because i feel like luck getting removed is gonna be great and so is the damn combat updates and <laughs> the adept curve but yeah that's all for this video and i'll see you on this